Good day, YouTubers. Um, after watching a lot of uh, videos on paracord bracelet making and reading the comments, um, one keeps coming up. People ask, "Well, how much length do I need to make, uh, you know, a particular bracelet at a particular length?" Um, answers are pretty vague. Typically, it's one foot per inch which is fine it's more than enough to get your job done uh, uh, the problem is, is people end up with a lot of waste okay um, I when I started this this is typically how much I, I ended up with just you know a foot 8 inches 10 inches 14 inches uh, that adds up after a while and uh, they're too short to do anything with so, you know, there it is. But I figured I should do the math. Because math will never lie. It is exact. And uh, after figuring out, uh, so far I figured out these four. My, my waist has just, you know, been reduced to mere inches. So I'm going to pass this on to you to help you uh, save on your, on your waist. So you can get more out of your cord. All right. Uh, the formulas are for the completed bracelet, uh, including uh, the buckles. These are for buckles. If you do yours with a loop and a ball, uh, adjust accordingly. All right. You may want to add six inches to your to your formula that you you come up using this just to make sure that you have enough until you become comfortable because I don't know your tying style, I don't know if you tie loose, I don't know if you tie it really tight alright but this will help you get really close to uh, you know saving on cord so you can get more bracelets made alright the first one is your standard Solomon's bar or cobra weave as people like to call it alright and here's the formula for that one the next one is uh, a caterpillar's feet braid um, I'd also like to add that these are all made by uh, uh, JD of tying it all together. Go check out his channel. He gives awesome tutorials. Uh, he's a very talented artist. I suggest you check him out. All right, this is the caterpillar's feet. All right, uh, there's two formulas for it. One is the I call it the primary and the secondary color. Uh, the primary in this is the green, the secondary is the yellow, alright? Alright, next one is for the uh, Oak Spike Sinnet. All right, I happen to like this one. This is this is really good for dog leads. A little bit of give in it. Um, again, there will be a primary and a secondary color. In this one, the primary is yellow, so it will be longer. It uses more. All right, here's the formula for that one. And lastly, this one will be for the tire tread bar. All right, formula used for that. And these are all for the length of the completed bracelet, including the buckles. Okay, 
Again, if you use a loop in a ball, always make sure you have enough for that, okay? Uh, if you like, please give me a thumbs, subscribe if you want, and um, if you have any questions as to what other kind of uh, bracelets you want me to figure out, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll have another video coming up uh, with some other bracelet styles, okay? Uh, I'll also be coming up with another uh, video on... Um, archery wrist slings that are made with paracord alright this one's for a friend uh, I've added some turk, turk head on the uh, end because they tend to get a little ugly I think alright um, I'm gonna make one with one continuous um, cord alright so I uh, look forward to that one I'll see you guys later have a great day